ideas for all kinds of pieces that, that didn't fit into the straight rock band structure. And one of the pieces was a piece called Instrumental for Six Guitars. I remember the first rehearsal. I stopped in the middle of the piece. There were tears rolling down my cheeks. It was like I have killed myself, you know, for so many years waiting for this moment. I had to stop. I couldn't stand to listen to it one more second. It, it was everything I had been working towards, everything I had wanted. And uh, so it was impossible <coughs> for me not to go in that direction. And I immediately started developing that direction. I started using, inventing more tunings. And I started listening very closely to what was, to what, to what was really the essence of that sound. And um, I realized that close harmonies were a very important part of that. And not only that, uh, open strings on the guitar, strings that were ringing and, uh, and allowing a lot of harmonics to interact. And um, so I started moving more in that direction. Um, with a piece like Indeterminate Activity of Resultant Masses, um, which is the piece that Cage hated. It kind of developed from there. I saw that I was in a position where I could do absolutely anything I want. I just kept pushing it. I pushed it and pushed it and pushed it and pushed it to the point of no return. festival in Chicago I was invited to play and Cage had stated it was his birthday party he made the mistake of coming to my concert and he said he uh, couldn't sit down at the same time that he didn't want to stand up he said that he was shaking he said the music made him afraid he went on and on and on and on about it. What happened was, is that the day after the concert, there was a, there was a symposium of, uh, of composers um, and Cage started off the symposium by giving a 10-minute critique of my piece after he had just seen like 200 pieces he chose me to crucify he said everything about my music is what is wrong with music <laughs> The Branca is an example of sheer determination of, of one person to be followed by the others. Even if you, even if you ha ha couldn't hear, you could see the, the situation. That, that is uh, not a shepherd taking care of the sheep, but of a, of a, of a le leader insisting that the people agree with him, giving them no freedom whatsoever. The only, the only uh, 
breath of fresh air that comes is when the technology collapses. Hmm? The, the amplifier broke. Hmm? That was the one, one moment of, of freedom from the intention. I feel at this time in my life there isn't any type of sound I couldn't create a piece of music out of. In fact, if I was a composition teacher, this is what I would teach my students. In fact, I would probably give them very difficult and strange types of sound-making devices and say, make me a piece of music with this two by fours, pipes, I don't know, whatever. Because I don't think that music is about the instrument. I think it's about the mind. The mind creates the music, not the instrument, not even the musician. I mean, I think the musician is incredibly important. Don't get me wrong on that point. And there are wonderful musicians who truly do create magical experiences. But as far as the composer is concerned, I think the composer needs to use his mind, his or her mind. Um, and it really doesn't matter what the tuning system is, whether it's an equal temperament system, whether it's a harmonic series system, or any other system. It matters what you imagine and if you have the ability to, to, to put that in, uh, in, into, into, into real space.